<laughs> greetings, humans, greetings, and welcome back to another fun-filled episode. We are here, 29-year veteran of the woods, and today, ah, we've got a package in from Uncle E. That's right, you know, Bear was out foraging through the neighborhood trash cans when all of a sudden the postman comes up. Ah, scares Bear. Bear scares the postman. The postman takes off running, and Bear gets this great little package here. Ah, yes, and he, actually, you know what? Actually, you know what? It was actually kind of a first. A first for Bear. Not only did he, uh, you know, Bear always tries to tell people, uh, oh, hey, if you're going to get a book, you might as well get two books as well. So not only did two of these come in from Uncle Lee, holy cow, you know what, I guess the postman was really busy because he dropped off a whole other package here from, uh, from, uh, Deborah Tucci. You know, uh, Billy, Billy Tucci and everything at, uh, at, uh, call, uh, oh gosh, I'm trying to remember the name of the comic book company. But anyways, ah, uh, great, uh, not only from, not only from Ethan Manskyver, but also from Billy Tucci as well. Two in one day, holy cow, holy cow indeed, so, uh. You know, we'll, we'll put in that second, uh, the second box opening in another video. We'll put it up there in the, uh, in the description or something like that. Let you guys take a look at it here. I'm just gonna open up the one box here today. So, enough of this jibber-jabber. Our bear's going on too long. Let's check it out real quick. Uh, you know, not too much, uh, not too much. Sometimes the corners get damaged or something like that. You know, the postman drops it and everything, but, uh, actually came out pretty good. Came out pretty good. Actually, the one thing that bear noticed here right away was, uh, Kind of a cool little, uh, all caps comics, uh, uh, tape that he has on here. You know, Bear's Nemesis the tape, but, uh, it actually looks pretty cool on there, so, uh, on the back there as well, so, uh, very cool, very cool. Bear had, uh, Bear had one suggestion for Uncle Lee is, uh, hey, maybe make the, uh, you make the tape as a, as an option as well to buy. I mean, if you're already buying a whole lot of tape to put on the packages here, hey, why not offer that for, uh, Ah, uh, for some of the people out there. Not for Bear, though. Ah, uh, Bear hates the tape. Yeah, uh, hates the tape so much. Arr! All right, let's get to get that out of the way. Enough of this jibber-jabber. Bear keeps going on and on and on and on. Enough of that. Let's get into the box here. The tear open it. With his bear claws, but instead, he's got the old trusty knife here instead. So, uh, let's see if we can get into it. Get into it a little bit easier than some of the boxes from beforehand. Uh, let's see. Uh, what was it? It was, um... It was, uh, a monster indeed that came in the other day. Von Klaus! Von Klaus, so that was cool. Yeah, all, all taped up though, but, uh, you know what, other than that, it's been kind of a, uh, kind of a drought here lately for, uh, ah, uh, for Bear, so it's good to not only get, uh, not only get one box in, but holy cow, two boxes in one day. I'll tell you what, that's a, uh, an embarrassment of riches for Bear. Yes, it is, yes, it is. All right, let's, uh, there you go, got that. Got that, I really hate... I really hate tearing into, uh, I, I feel like I'm stabbing Uncle E in the face here with the knife here, but, uh, yeah, that's all right. You know, maybe, uh, maybe get to take out a little bit of the anger on Uncle E there. Just, uh, all right, anyways. Anyways, get that open. Get that open. Get that open. I think we got all the tape there. Anyways, I thought that was pretty cool with the, uh, with the all caps comics tape there. All right, set that off to the side, because we've got the main attraction. All right, let's see what's inside here. Well, let's see what's inside. That's a Gemini Mailer. Thank you, Uncle Lee, for the Gemini Mailer. Let's turn around here so everybody can get a great look at see what's inside here. All right, let's, enough of this. Let's get it open here. We've got a Cyber Frog. Cyber Frog. There we are. A neat little coloring book. Look at there. Let's see. Is there anything else in the box? Nothing else in the box. Hooah! All right, there we are. Very cool. Uncle, Uncle E, featuring the art of Ethan Van Skyver, Cyber Frog, Survivor's Coloring Book. There we are. There we are. Very cool. Let's see. Anything on the back? Yes, there's plenty on the back, of course. All caps. Let me, uh, let me see if I can, uh, bear with bear here for a second. Let me see if I can, um, get on a stand here instead of trying to shake it with his hands. Oh, of course it's. Where's that screws up like that? Come on! There we are. There we are. Never easy for beer. There we are. Sneak little... Holy cow! I mean, how are you gonna... Man, oh man, I tell you what. Uh, Kyle Ritter had some uh, had some work there. Look at all this detail in, in all of here. Let's see. It, what does it say? It says, All Cat Comics... All Caps Comics uh, presents an adult... Oh man, I tell you what. I, I, I wish I knew it was an adult coloring book. 
<laughs> Alright, an adult coloring book featuring everyone's favorite cybernetically enhanced amphibian hero in his amazing electric cast of characters. Salamandroid, Heather Swain, and the Mrs. Bzzz, and more. Ah, oh, yes. Yes, indeed. Alright, let's see. Uh, featuring the stunning black and white lane work of legendary artist Ethan Van Skyver, Uncle E, from the history of Cyberfrog comic appearances, past and present. Cyberfrog 2 Coloring Book Frogs, Surviving, uh, Survivor's Coloring Book, gives you the chance to leave a mark on the most unique and powerful frog in comic book history. Yes. Alright, so there we go. Let's let's just kind of pop this open and kind of see what's inside here real quick. So, uh, just uh, to a random page here. Random page. Oh, there's Heather Swain. Cyberfrog. Salamandroid. I tell you what, I, I you know, I, I think, I, I don't know if they actually came out with the black and white uh, line art, black and white line art, come on, Bear, um, for some of the Cyberfrog books, but uh, I tell you what, if they haven't, oh, man, oh, man, they probably should. Look at all that detail. Look at all that detail in there. That's pretty cool. That's actually really cool. I'd really feel bad about, uh, kind of feel bad about coloring some of this stuff, because uh, that's pretty amazing. Pretty amazing right there. Look at there. Look at there! I think I think this is probably the, the 90s sort of version. It kind of looks like the 90s Cyber Frog, and this is maybe an up to date, up to date version. I, I kind of wish maybe they would have had the, uh, kinda wish they might have would have had the dates on there, uh, so you could tell, could tell which one is the new and the old. But that's okay. There's a neat little holy cow! Look at that! Look at all that! Look at all that! That's his hands, or, or no, I guess his feet. His feet there. Look at all the, the reflection, the reflecting detail and everything. Look at there. All right, man. You know what? That would take forever to color. Holy cow. Holy cow. Luckily, we're going to give one of these to the, ah, to the local library. Yes, indeed. That's kind of one, one of the things that Bear does. I can check it out in another video there, but, um, oh, yeah, I remember this from the Cyberfrog book. Yeah, yeah. Both of these. Both of these. I don't know why she was taking a shortcut through the, uh, uh through the cemetery. Kind of a, uh. An odd shortcut to take. Yeah. But, uh, there you go. There's there's regular frog being transformed. I've got to get closer because of all this detail. Regular regular frog transformed into cyber frog. Cyber frog. Oh man, oh man. I'd have to go back to the book to uh, figure out some of these colors here. But, uh, I'm trying to get this page, but uh, claws aren't what they used to be. Oh, they're not what they used to be. There we go. Final page. Oh, there you go. That's nice. Nice little ending page there. There we go. There you go. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All sorts of stuff. I don't know how many pages. Looks like about uh, 25 or maybe 30 pages. Something along those lines there, but uh, yeah, there we go. Gross. I'm a bad frog. Oh. That is pretty gross. That's pretty gross. Even for beer. Even from here. But, uh, there we go. Some neat stuff there. Neat stuff. All right. Well, thank you, Uncle Lee. Thank you, Uncle Lee. Some really great stuff here. Bear's going to probably spend a whole lot of time trying to, trying to color this. Let's see. You're now the colorist. One of the biggest indie comic mega hits of all time. Server frog. Ah, that's great. Imagine that I sent you these drawings. To you. Oh, my God. Ah, as I sent them to superstar colorist. Kyle Richard. Ah, the critter. With simple instructions. Make these pages rock. Well, they already do. They already do. Didn't really have to do too much, but, uh, my Kyle did some great work. Uh, I know you can do it. I hope I can do it. Get your crayons. Your colored pencils, markers, and paints. And bring these line art drawings to life. Humanity depends on the frog. Well, no, uh, all right, then. Bear, Bear's work here is done. Ha ha ha. Screw you, humanity. Ah, yes, dude. Ah, find that perfect shade of green and go to it. Ethan Van Sky. There we are. There we are. So very cool. Very cool. I don't know how many people got the, uh, got the coloring book. I think a lot of people got the, uh, this, I believe it was on the warts and all campaign, if I'm not mistaken, so I'm not sure how many people got the, the coloring book. Um, I don't know, I don't really know how many people have gotten that, but, uh, hey, if you got it, man, oh, man, if you didn't, man, you really missed out, so, uh, hopefully, hopefully Uncle E may offer this as kind of an add-on to some of the, uh, some of the newer campaigns that are coming out. You know, hopefully something... Bear is looking forward to, uh, 
Uh, Rainbow the Brute. Ah, oh, Rainbow the Brute. Yes, indeed, that looks like a good one. Actually, Bear did a, uh, Bear did a campaign review on that, so if you want to check that out, uh, yeah, I'll put that up in the description somewhere, so, uh, ah, you can check that out as well. But, uh, yeah, definitely should probably offer this, uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully he had enough printed out and everything to maybe offer this in some of the, uh, some of the newer campaigns that are coming out, like, uh, ah, like, uh, uh, uh Rainbow the Brute, that's right, yes, indeed. All right, well, there you can see where it's colored. Uh, I hope Bear can, hope Bear can do uh, justice to what, uh, what Kyle Ritter has already done, because uh, if it was sent to Bear, I'd be packing it up, uh, selling it off on the black market, and heading off to, uh, I don't know, some, some Caribbean island somewhere. Yes, indeed. Maybe, maybe see Cecil there. You never know. You never know. All right, well, enough of this jibber-jabber. Ah, uh, Bear's got to head back. You know what? It's made Bear hungry, so he's got to head back. Into the woods! Ah, so until next time, people. Humans, thank you for watching this video. If you wish to have more, please like and subscribe. And don't forget that bell for notification. It would please Bear very much. You don't want to see Bear bad, do you? Arr!